All right, guys, it is week 25, and we are headed to Land Between the Lakes, Kentucky. We're gonna be passing through there today over to Canton, about 20 miles in total. Huge thanks to the Parr family for putting us up for the last night, and also all they did to support us. Coming into Marshall County. Well, there it is, the Egner Bridge over Kentucky Lake. I actually just checked and it turns out that the highway bridge over Norfolk Lake in Arkansas is a bit longer. So this is actually our second longest crossing. So still cool, but yeah, that Norfolk Lake was actually the longest crossing of the whole trip back in Arkansas. Yeah, this is just as beautiful, even better. It's got a bike path on the side of it, which I'm stoked about. And between the lakes. All right, now we're going over Lake Barkley. This is our second lake. Lake Barkley turns into the Cumberland River. It's Eddie's old enemy, the Sinclair dinosaur. He hates that freaking dinosaur. Luckily, we're turning down this road because he hates that green dinosaur, man. I don't know what it is. Like, I go past other statues all the time with him. He does not like the Sinclair dino. All right, we're going through Canton, Kentucky. Gonna go see if we can find someone to let us camp out for the night. All right guys, it is day 170 of the year of the Mustang and I am in Donaldson, Kentucky. And we're gonna do probably a little over 20 miles today. We'll see where we end up. Gonna be headed over towards the PD and Herndon area. But yeah, we got a beautiful day. Huge thanks to Peyton Oliver and his family last night for putting us up and feeding us. They were a huge help. But yeah, we're once again going in cold. Gonna go see if we can find somebody to let us camp on their spot. All right guys, I'm here with Rusty. Just passed by her house. She wanted to ride along, leave me up to her neighbors. She thinks they might be able to help me find a place to stay, so we're gonna go down and talk to them. And your horse's name is Beauty. Wonderful, she's a Tennessee walker. Well, Rusty went off with one of her Amish friends onto their house. The guy pulled up on a cart horse and these guys had never even seen a cart horse before so new experience for them they didn't know what to think of it but we're headed here into a pretty prevalent Amish community so they're gonna have to get used to that I'm starting to see a few of these guys on the road pulling buggies and carts and whatnot pretty cool All right guys, last night I stayed in this lovely Amish community. I stayed with Ames Blank and his family. Gave me a pasture to camp out in with the horses. So huge thanks to them for taking good care of us. And uh, yeah, I got to see a little bit of their dairy operation, which is pretty cool. I've been seeing a lot of the horse-drawn carts going by down the road here. I'm sure we're gonna be seeing a lot of them today. Probably gonna be in uh, another part of the same Amish community down the road here. Um, we're gonna be going about 20 miles. So yeah, I very likely will be staying with some of Amos's family. Going over the little river. Where I'm from, that'd be a big river.
All right, guys, it is Friday and I am coming into Pembroke, Kentucky. We're gonna be headed through there and then over to Elkton today. And hopefully we'll find a place to stay. We had some pretty heavy rain and some thunderstorms last night. Thankfully, we stayed with another wonderful Amish family, thanks to Abram Smoker and to his family for taking care of us last night. But yeah, we are off. Looks like it's gonna be Nice cool overcast, which is nice. Going through the town of Pembroke. There goes some white-tailed deer. Where I'm from, we got mule deer. We don't have white tails. Tail deer are aptly named for those tails that they wave around like flags. They use it to communicate with each other, let, them, let each other know what's going on. A fair bit smaller than the mule deer that are out where I'm from. But they seem to be quite a bit more skittish. Since when I see them, they're always on the run. Hey guys, last night I stayed here in the loft of this barn. Horses in the barnyard around us. All right, it is Saturday, our last day of the week. Looking like it's gonna be a beautiful one. We've got just 13 miles today. We're gonna be headed over just above Russellville. Huge thanks to Tim last night for putting me and the horses up. I just went up to his house and he said we could stay. So yeah, great folks. Anyways, we are coming to the end of week All right guys, so one thing that's notable about this week and last week, here in the middle and beginning of March in Kentucky, there is a ton of fresh green grass just popping up and it's really starting to explode. Lots of young legumes like clover are everywhere. And it's just one thing to really consider with horses and it's kind of just the scenario that we're in because we don't always have hay as an option, especially if I'm staked out in a field somewhere. The grass that's out there is what these guys have to deal with so i've been keeping an eye on these guys a little bit but it can be really hard on these guys digestive systems because the grass and the clover is so high in starch and extra sugar at this time of year it's super potent and that can lead to to gastrointestinal issues and can cause them to colic so it's just another testament to these mustangs um, they've handled this just fine and uh, it's definitely not something they've lived with in the past, uh, at least domesticated. Um, they've always been on the steady, same type of alfalfa back where we lived. So this is kind of a newer experience for them and they've adjusted to it pretty well. I did have some diarrhea with both of them here uh, at the beginning of this week for one day, but then they came out of it and it was just the heavy amount of clover that they've been eating but uh, they seem to just be well adjusted to it now. And the thing is they will very often choose the green grass because it tastes so good to them over hay and it can just kind of be a novelty thing for them. And that really depends on the horse, um, whether they'll favor the hay or favor the grass. Right now they're more interested in the, in the Bermuda hay, but yeah, just something to think about with horses in the springtime. Uh, particularly horses that are out on pasture and uh, yeah these guys have now had some time to get used to to being on grass like this so I hope we're in the clear but it's still something I think about as we're going along all right guys it is the end of another incredible week here in Kentucky I am just outside of Russellville and huge thanks to the Owens family for supporting me over the last couple of days 
going to be headed off across Central Kentucky this week. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos so you can continue to see this incredible adventure. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Hope to see you in the next one. Until then, adios.